The Torah tells us in the book of Devarim, in the beginning, and you shall know today and take to your heart that Hashem is the God in the heavens above and on the earth below. You shall know today. There's another place where the Torah speaks about knowing, and that's coming up very soon, the holiday of Sukkos. And the Torah says that God commanded us to dwell in the sukkah so that you shall know, so that the generation shall know that God protected us after we went, when we, after we left Egypt, God protected us in sukkahs. Uh, the Talmud gives t- different text, two explanations for what the sukkah is. One explanation is it's actual dwellings. The other explanation is that it's clouds of glory. But either way, it's God's protection. We need to know that God protected us. There's an interesting law in the construction of a sukkah. A sukkah, the Mishnah says, that is higher than 30 amos high is invalid. An amma is equal to a foot and a half or two feet. So a sukkah then that is higher than 30 or 40 feet is invalid. The Talmud infers that one of the reasons why it's invalid is because if the roof is so high, you don't know that you're in a sukkah. And you're supposed to know. You're supposed to know. So the great Torah teacher Rabbi Volvi explains, what do you mean you don't know? It's, it's, it's 30 feet high. It's 40 feet high. You're in a sukkah. You know you're in a sukkah. What do you mean you don't know? So the fact that the Torah tells us that you need to know and the fact that the Talmud tells us that if it's so high, it's invalid because you don't know. It means you don't know means it's not within your field of vision. And if it's not within your field of vision, then it's considered for this purpose as if you don't know. And Rav Volbi derives from this law of sukkah a fantastic concept that knowing Hashem means to feel the presence of Hashem with our senses. Like in the sukkah, to see the sukkah and then to focus, ah, God, remember God took care of me. Look at a beautiful flower and see the presence of Hashem. Smell, smell magnificent spices and feel the presence of Hashem. Study the glorious human body. And wow, wow, what an amazing, amazing, amazing gift of Hashem. Look at the world. Look at all of God's creation. And see, see, sense, feel the presence of Hashem. So there is a mandate to know by using the senses that God has given us. So wishing you all a magnificent holiday of Sukkot. Sukkot is the festival of joy. And I suggest when we know, when we know, that Hashem is with us. But we know that when we open our sitter and we talk to Hashem, Hashem is listening to our every word. And Hashem is even digging into our thoughts and knows what we feel and knows what we want. The more we can feel the presence of Hashem and the more we can bring it through our senses and looking at God's creations, the more joy, the more happiness we can feel. So Sukkot is truly Zman Simcha Seinu, wishing you all, you, your families, and all Israel, a joyous festival of Sukkot.